Good evening, viewers. It's the 1st of January 2019. So can I start by wishing all of the viewers and listeners uh, a very uh, happy new year. I hope that uh, 2019 is uh, is good, good to you and um, brings you all that you desire. So we're going to start off um, 2019 with a very short video. Um, we're on a different distribution today. Um, Gone is the Bunsen Labs um, for the time being. We're on uh, KDE Plasma. Uh, we are on, in fact, Kubuntu 1810 currently. And the reason for that is uh, I treated myself at Christmas to a new PC, um, uh, a current generation Intel Nook, one that was released at the end of 2018. And therefore, poor old um, Bunsen Labs with its um, granddaddy kernel 4.9 unfortunately doesn't support the hardware um, so we're gonna have to wait until the next version of that unfortunately um, before we can uh, return to Bunsen Labs so we're on a, a more recent distribution this is a, a 4 419 kernel I believe I'm using a backported 419 kernel on this so all working well anyway that's not the topic of today's video the topic is Microsoft Office now, one of the reasons people tend to shy away from the switch from um, Mac or, more importantly, from Windows across to Linux is the lack of support for Microsoft Office products. Uh, now, there are some attempts to run older versions in uh, wrappers such as Wine, and those are partially successful. However, um, if you try to run the latest versions, you'll find that um, that's not really possible. But for the, certainly for the home user and probably for some small business users who don't need all of the features of the, the full office suite, you can in fact set up uh, an online account with uh, Microsoft Office 365. Cost you nothing to do that. And that will give you access to all of the online versions of the office suite. So you get, um, you get an email account to use with Outlook, uh, with an Outlook email, Outlook email address. You get PowerPoint, you get Excel, uh, you get the Microsoft Notes application, um, you get Word, of course. All of the normal applications are there in slightly cut down form. But when I say slightly cut down, most of what you would usually find necessary is there. So, you know, you'd be unlikely, I think, to find that anything is really missing on that. So let's just bring up, um, let's just bring up the, uh, the browser. Let's hop over to the Microsoft website. So we're going to go to MS Office 365. And you want to go into 365 Login. Now I'm assuming here you've already set up your account. I've set mine up, as you can see here, it's logged me in automatically. And here you can see the list of um, icons here for the various Microsoft applications. Now you can run them in the browser, no problem with doing that at all. But there's a better way of doing that. You can run them in a, a packaged window mode on your PC with a proper menued link. And you do that by running it, um, or rather packaging it, using a, uh, a little a small program. It's called the, the ICE um, package wrapper, which basically wraps your online application and makes it look and behave as if it was a native desktop application. So I've already set some of these up, but I'll run through it uh, today. I've already done a video previously on ICE, which is um, part of the Peppermint OS distribution, but you can download it separately, and I'll put the link again below. So this is not going to be particularly about ICE this time. This is going to be about how you can get Microsoft Office running on your, on your machine, looking and behaving like a native app. So let's go to Word in this example. So let's click on Word here. Now what this will do is it will bring up um, the kind of the word portal on here to load up a, a document so you can either choose an existing document or a template or a blank document what we want to do here is to copy the link so the link at the top here this link here just want to copy that we can now close our browser down that's all we need from the browser for the moment now we need to just load up the ice application thanks to the joys of uh, krunner there we go so that's the ICE application. Uh, choose which browser you wish to package the application. So it defaults to Firefox. Uh, I use Chromium as my preferred browser, so select Chromium on here. Now in the top here, it says name of application. So just give it a name. So we'll call it MS 
word in this instance. And then in here you want to paste in the web address that we've previously copied. Now where in the menu would you like this to appear? Now I want it to appear in the office section. Select an icon. Now um, you can go to your locally stored icon files and select one of those or you can download an icon and use that. But we can um, <clears throat> we can use the site favicon that will just give it this um, this icon here for the moment just to load it into our menu. So we click apply and now we can close and now if we go to our system menu and we go to office there we have Microsoft Word with the standard ice um, icon on that now we can change that icon so right click edit application comes up here click on the favicon other icons and we can browse around our system for icons so I've got some stored here I've actually got some if I can find where the hell I saved them I was in pictures icons and wallpapers icons Microsoft Office these are some I downloaded earlier today so as we're using the word program some word icons here I'm going to use word 2 because I have to know that, that fits with the theme and I'll open that and we can see the example here and I'll click OK now in the menu when I go to office you can see it's updated to the new icon now what we'll do as well is we'll add this to our favorites and we'll move it and we'll put it next to our other office applications here so we've now packaged and added Microsoft Office web application to our system so now if we click this and open it what you'll find is it opens um, within a window uh, of your browser but it does so without all of the browser paraphernalia around the edges and it looks and behaves just like it were a, a native application so for example if I click a new blank document you'll see there we go that looks just like a slightly slimmed down version of Microsoft Word running natively on your system and you can save files locally or you can save them to your cloud account your OneDrive or whatever that might be um, very very easily uh, I'll show you what the others look like as well this is the PowerPoint application so there we go um, let's just select a template this time and here we are it's retrieving the information for that and there we are of course the ribbon runs along the top here so as we click on these various headings the ribbon below changes but most of the features you're going to want are going to be here um, it's not the kind of the full paid for app of course but um, and again most of us don't need that and lastly we'll go and we'll take a look at we'll look at Excel let's open a spreadsheet shall we blank workbook And there we go so you have no excuse really you have no excuse to be staying on Windows and saying that you can't move because you can't access Microsoft Office unless you're an office power user I would suggest so make it to your 2019 New Year resolution to quit the wind blows and to move across to Linux Thank you for watching and I'll see you all again in the next video. Bye for now.